An ASP.NET Core user interface consists of static resources and dynamic resources. Static resources include JavaScript files, CSS files, image files, and other uh, static files uh, generally located under www root folder of the web project. Uh, static files are handled by static file middleware by default. We use app.use static files uh, in the configure method of the startup class uh, to add the static file middleware to the pipeline. And the, on the other hand, dynamic resources consist of razor views, razor, razor pages, and uh, view components. They are also located under uh, the root folder of the web project. Uh, dynamic resources uh, are handled by the Razor View engine. Razor View engine uh, executes, compiles, uh, and produces the result of uh, views as HTML output and sends to the browser on the request. In a modular application, UI components are distributed into modules, as generally as embedded files. So every module has its own views, pages, JavaScript files, CSS files, and other resource into its own DLL files. Uh, ASP.NET Core, uh, by default, looks on the physical file system to find views and other uh, static resources. So we should create a virtual file system to uh, make ASP.NET Core can read uh, embedded resources from uh, DLL files. ASP.NET Core works with iFile provider interface to read files and directory contents uh, in a web application. This interface is very simple. Get file info method is used to get a single file content, while get directory contents method is used to get a list of directories and files inside a folder. And finally, the watch method is used to get notified when a file or folder changes. Thus, we can uh, update or uh, catch or uh, to be informed when a file change. Virtual file system implements iFile provider interface and uh, internally works with embedded files, physical files, even with dynamic files that can be created on the runtime. Uh, it implements iFile provider so it can work with static file middleware and razor view engine. So ASP.NET Core can work with embedded files in this way. Virtual file provider also uh, has an overriding functionality. That means a physical file can override an embedded file by uh, placing the same file with same name in a uh, physical folder. Once we implement I file provider interface with a virtual file provider, we should replace uh, Razor View Engine's file provider with our custom file provider. To do that, we should configure Razor View Engine options by adding a new file provider to the file providers list. We added uh, in the sample, we added uh, it as the first file provider, so it has a higher, the highest pro priority uh, uh, among other file providers. We should also configure use static files middleware to use our custom file provider. It's also very easy because use static files middleware can accept a static file options which has a file provider property. Then we can set any class that implements iFile provider interface. So. In that way, ASP.NET Core can gracefully works with virtual files, that means embedded files, dynamic files, or uh, physical files combined into a single file system. 
and uh, every module can contribute to this virtual file system on a application startup by providing embedded resources to the virtual file system. 